So today we will take a look at two modules from Squintronics that can help you with chords and chord progressions. They are very intuitive, so they are perfect even if you don't have any experience with music theory, but still want to explore more harmonic musical directions. And they are both available for free. And let's start with harmony. So in this case, we can choose a key and a mood. I will go with G, let's say Dorian, right? And again, you don't really need to know the notes of the scale or anything. And um, you can just experiment and see what works best for you. And now we can create a chord progression by sequencing harmony. So I have here the step sequencer from Sequencer. It's, uh, it's set with just four steps, right? So we will have a change of four different chords. And it's running with a clock division of 16, so it's running pretty um, slowly. This I will send to the root input of harmony, right? To transpose things. And now we have four outputs we can use, right? We have the bass, which is the lowest note. Then we have the tenor, which is higher from that. Alto, which is even higher. And soprano, which is even higher than that, right? So we have the four different voices we can choose from. In this case, I have here the FM2 VCO with some modulation. Right, now if I use the soprano output, it will merge the other voices into a polyphonic cable. Right, so if I send this to the Volper octave input of the FM2, you see it says here four, and you can see we have four channels of polyphony basically using all four voices polyphonically. Right, and we get our chord progression in G Dorian, again by using four channels of polyphony. Now we also have the trigger input. With this input we can trigger variation in the voicing of the chord. Again, according to the different settings here. And also here you don't really uh, need to know what's going on to enjoy the results, right? So here we can change the inversions, for example. Right, the preference for the inversions, if we don't want consecutive inversions, so we don't want inversions at all, or the voicings, right, if it's a narrow or wide, right, so you can experiment with this and try sort of things. We can also, of course, transpose things, right, but now if I trigger, for example, with a multiplied by two clock, I will trigger harmony, we will get more variation. Right, this will basically change the voicing, but again, I don't want this to happen so uh, often, so I'm going to use a divided by 8. Just want to show you what it will do. But now we have once divided by 16, advancing the chord progression. Right, and once divided by 8, adding variation to the voicing. Now we can still use the other outputs right, and take them out of the polyphonic cable. So for example, if I want to have a dedicated bass voice, I can use just the bass output, right? So here down I have a, another voice here, I have the classic VCO going through a filter and delay, and I have a sub bass with a sign um, VCO from Bogaud, right? So I have a dedicated bass voice, right? It will sound like this. And now I can use the bass output, I can take it out of this uh, mix, let's say, and use it with a dedicated voice. You can see now it says here three, and we have just three channels of polyphony, and the bass is going to its own dedicated voice. Right, so we have a nice chord progression. We can still use also one voice um, as a sequence, right? So here I have the oscillator from synthesizers.com going through a modulated bandpass filter. Right, and I have here another harmony, right? So I can use another sequencer to transpose things, right? To change the chord progression. And in this case, I would like to use only the highest note, only the soprano. But again, if I connect it just like this, we will get four channels of polyphony. 
So what I can do, I can take a dummy cable from the alto here and connect it just somewhere where it's not going anywhere. In this case, I'm using the mixer from VCV. But basically, you can see it's not connected anywhere. I'm not really using it. I'm just taking those three channels out of the polyphonic cable, and then I can use the soprano by itself. Right, and again, also here to add more movement, in this case, I will use the multiplied by two clock to trigger variation in the voicing. Right, so instead of using harmony to generate whole chords, I can just use it to generate one voice that is related with movement of the chord progression. Right, just for fun, I have here also some glitchy drums. The topograph sequencer, sequencing Tremor FM with lots of modulation, a bandpass filter, a glitchy delay. Let's take a look now at Harmony 2, which will work a bit differently, but it's also quite intuitive. So also here we can choose the key and the mode. In this case, I will go with E, Mixolydian. And again, you don't have to really know the notes of this mode or scale or whatever. You can just explore and experiment and see what works for you. But now in this case, we have up to six notes we can set up and use polyphonically, and we can transpose each note individually while always staying in the scale. So here I have Soz from Squinky Labs as my voice. It's going through, through um, Stairway, which is a filter also from the same collection. Right, and now for example, I can set up four voices or four notes, one, two, three, and four. And now we have four note chord and we can transpose the notes by degrees. So the second one, the second note, for example, we can take up one degree. And again, it will stay in this scale in E mixolydian. Then let's go with two up. We can also transpose by octaves. So maybe the fourth I will take an octave down. Right, so again, we have a chord that we created quite easily. And now also here we can change the chord and move inside the scale through the volt per octave input. So again, I have here the step sequencer from Secret Cell. I will send this to the volt per octave input and now we have a progression. Right, and again, it will stay inside the scale, inside this mode. Now we can also control the key and the mode externally if you want to sequence this and even transpose the individual notes externally. So here I have another example. I have here Kitchen Sync again from Squinky Labs. And I have here with Harmony 2 already six notes set up again in the same uh, in Mixolydian. So if I answer this. Right, already we have a code. Now here already I can use the same sequencer, the same step sequencer to have more or less the same movement, the same transposition, right with the second harmony. But now we can also use random voltage, for example, to transpose the notes up and down. Right, so here I have the Quad LFO from Surge XT. It's already set to six voices of polyphony. Again, we have um, six channels here on with six channels of polyphony, right? So I have the modulation also set to six channels of polyphony. It's already modulating some things here on kitchen sink, but I have another channel that I can use if I attenuate it a bit, right? Because again, it will transpose the notes individually. So I'm going to attenuate it a bit Send this to the XP input, and now you can see it says here 023578, which is exactly what I have here. But now when I start adding modulation, you can see it's changing, it's transposing things individually, polyphonically. Right, 
to really get a nice um, movement here, harmonic movement. This is going, by the way, through process from VCV, so I can add some glide to this, some slew, just for a bit more... a bit more um, expressiveness. Now in this case, as you can see, unlike harmony, the original harmony, here we just have volt per octave output, we don't have the different voices, we don't have a dedicated bass output, but we can use something like the bass module from Sively to extract the bass from a polyphonic signal, right? So we have here the bass module, you have a few different modes, so harmonic, lowest or random, depending on what you choose it will output the bass note from the chords and the bass voice that I have here is kick all right going through some uh, chorus distortion a filter a delay and what I will do let me unmute this I will use the pitch right the chords from the first harmony to here right and um, the bass module will again extract the bass voice from these chords And quite easily we have a chord progression, we have harmonic movement, and um, just for fun I have here also a kick and a hi-hat with two plats, um, but before I unmute them, thank you again so so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, cheers!